Haracharyas say that what does this mean? He gave divine eyes. And so this is the Madhurya, Madhurya Mai Bhakta, Krishna Bhakta viewpoint of this, that Krishna, when Krishna was sitting, when Arjuna was sitting with Krishna, he was already seeing, he was already seeing the topmost form of God. Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam. Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam. It's in the Srimad Bhagavatam, first, first canto, chapter 3, verse 28. He was already seeing the topmost form of God. And how could he see him? Because he was a Premi Bhakta. He was in Sakirati. He's a friend of Krishna. Arjuna is in Sakirati. So he has, he has Prem Vilochan. Prem Anjana Charita Bhakti Vilochanena. One can see Krishna in his topmost rasic Prema Mai form with the eyes of Prem. It takes one to know one. If you have Prem, you can see Prem. So he was seeing, but so that, that, uh, that Madhurya vision of Krishna, Madhurya Mai vision that Arjuna had as being a Premi Bhakta, he's seeing the sweetest, topmost form of Godhead. Now Krishna wants to show him the, his Aishwarya form of Virata Rup. So Arjuna has to step, he has to step down. He has to step down. He's already realizing it's because Krishna's topmost form is the Virata Rupa. So Acharya say, this verse proves that Krishna's form is the topmost. That Krishna with the two-armed form, just one Krishna with one devotee, one Krishna with each devotee, each liberated soul, so one Krishna with one Arjuna in the Sakya-Ras relationship of friendship is the highest, is the highest, much higher than Virata Rupa. That's much higher than that. So Krishna, in order for Arjuna to see this Virata Rupa, he had to give him, he had to give him Aishvarya eyes. Because Arjuna had Madhurya eyes. Yeah. He had, he had Madhurya prem filled eyes, so now he had to get Aishwarya eyes. Because we say, Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena. You can see Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. So you can see Govinda with prem eyes. You can see with Madhurya eyes, prem eyes. But you can see Virata Rupa with Aishwarya eyes. So this is a very interesting explanation. Just turn the whole thing around. So even Vaishnavas can take the Bhagavad Gita and show the Madhurya Maya conception or the Aishwarya Maya conception. And what to speak of the Maya body. So this is the nature of Sanskrit. You can you can create this meaning or that. You can create a different Vaishnav conception meaning from the same shloka, or you can create an antithetical antithetical meaning of the the Kaivalya meaning or the Brahman meaning, which is opposite. It's the impersonal view. Same shloka can represent impersonal view of absolute, or the same shloka can represent personal aspect. So this is so when you're saying that this these chatur vida Sri Bhagavat Prasada, this means I can't say I, that you can you can you know say like that or think like that. But I haven't read anywhere from my studies that this conclusion is brought out by any of our acharyas. We recognize acharyas. I have not seen that any commentaries. Uh, authentic commentaries on this verse that I'm aware of. And not that it doesn't exist. It may exist, but I don't know. Because you can see that even the translation we have, because it says, it says, Chatur Vida, that's three kinds. I mean, excuse me, four kinds. That's clear. So generally, we try to take the obvious meaning of Shastras. Sri Bhagavat Prasad. So Prasad means the remnants of Bhagavan. Right? Sri Bhagavat Prasad. Sri Bhagavat means Radha and Krishna Prasad. As Vishwanath is glorifying the... Who, what kind of guru is he glorifying here in this verse? I'm asking a question. What kind of guru is he glorifying in this ashtakam? I said, what kind of guru? No. He's glorifying a guru that worships Radha and Krishna. Some gurus worship Ram. Is that right? Some gurus worship Vishnu, is it right? So how do we know that? Nikunja Yuno Ratikeli Sri Radhika Madhavyorapara. Nikunja Yuno. That's all clear indicate my guru is in the Kunja Kunja Krita, with Radha Krishna serving as a manjari. So when we see Sri Bhagavat, you can say it means Lakshmi Narayan. Then we can say no because that's out of context. Because Vishnu is a mandri, he's a Gaudiya Vaishnava, worship Radha and Krishna. And how can it be? How how in verse four is Lakshmi Narayan? Then it, when it's about the same guru, about the same guru. Verse four is about Lakshmi Narayan. 
Even you can say verse 3 is Lakshmi Narayan. Shri Vigraha Aradana, Aradana. Shri Vigraha Aradana. Right? Shri Vigraha Aradana. Shri Vigraha Aradana. Radana means worship. He's worshipping the Shri Vigraha. Worshipping the Shri Vigraha means worshipping Radharani. <laughs> Nityanana Shring, because it says Nityanana Shringar with various types of ornaments. In other words, I mean, I could give a very nice explanation, all related, <laughs> not now, but all related to the to the idea that the Guru is Nikunji is Yutira Pekshaniya, Dakshat Ativalabhasya. My Guru, the, the whole prayer is about a Guru who is expert in, in Ratikeli Siddhai, in serving the con, the amorous affairs of Radha and Krishna Kunja. This prayer is about that. Nikunja Yuno Rati Rati Keli Sid. He's got Siddhi. He's he's making their he's making their pastimes perfect. I mean Samridiman, Samridiman Sambhog, there's four types of Sambhog. Perfect. Ya 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 Ali. Ali means Ali means gopis. Prishta Ali Bi Savya Manu Smarami. Divyad Brindarani Kapal Jumada, Shimad Ratnagar Sima Sanasto, Shimad uh Radha Srila Govinda Devo, Prashta Alibi Sevyamano Smarami. I should remember Vishaka Saki and Tulsi Mandri and my Guru Saki. Alibi is and Prashta. Prashta means very topmost special chief ones like Lita Vishaka, Rupa and Rati. So Ali means Gopi. So in, in this verse in this verse six, everything is related. The Gopis are there, the Mandris are Nikunja Yu.